guys, Brian here at 3TR and welcome to another episode of Superman Month and this time we go into Superman's darkest moment with Superman Doomsday. Now this particular animated film is based off the comic, famous comic book storyline titled The Death of Superman in which he's killed by Doomsday. And in terms of plot, what happens in this particular animated film is that a couple of miners or diggers working for LexCorp dig up Doomsday in an alien craft or an alien prison or whatever the hell you want to call it. They unleash Doomsday. Doomsday manages to break himself out, find himself to Metropolis. There he confronts Superman. They have their epic head-to-head -head Battle of the Titans clash in which both him and Superman are killed. However, in the process, Lex Luthor then gets a hold of Superman's body, makes a clone of him, or decides to make an army of clone Superman. However, this Superman breaks Lex Luthor's control, declares martial law, starts killing criminals, doing what he believes is his own form of justice. This, however, decides to bring Superman, the original Superman, back from his little coma state, and they have a final clash at the end of the film in which we will finally see which Superman will reign supreme. Now, I would like to say that the biggest problem that this particular animated film is, has is that, one, it's not really loyal to the source material. They changed the entire second half to what originally happened, and it would have added for a much more interesting story. Now, for those of you who don't know what happens, after the real death of Superman, which it was a real death, not a, he goes into a coma so he can better heal as they do in this film, four new Superman appear and try to take his place. And that really would have added for a much more interesting storyline, and it should have extended the film. Now this movie only has a running time of, I would say, maybe an hour and ten minutes, and that is not nearly enough time to really tell the, the, the real story of such a probably one of the most popular Superman storylines of all time. I mean, if there was any animated film that should have had a real, like, hour and a half, hour and forty minutes of running time, it would be this particular storyline. I mean, I would even give it more time than any of the animated Batman films or Justice League films. I mean, this is where you really put the most work out of any animated film that you will ever make. And they just don't do that. Another thing that's really kind of throws you off about this animated film is that Superman will say and do things that are a bit out of character. And the same goes with the rest of the cast. Now, the voice acting, for the most part, is very well done. Lex Luthor, in my opinion, having the best voice. But Lex Luthor as a character seems kind of stupid in this one. I mean, his plan is he's going to clone Superman and then have him have total control. I mean, if Superman, if the original Superman was in such a situation, you would know he's going to find some way to break your control. And this one being a much more deadlier Superman, I'm sure Lex Luthor knew he was going to come after him and find some way to seriously injure him. And another problem I also have with this film is that... Some of the animation, although it looks very, very well, it looks a bit rough. I mean, if you get a good shot of Superman, he has these little things in his cheeks that I just thought were a little weird. I mean, I'm not sure if it's supposed to bring out his cheekbones or his facial expressions, but it just looked like he had scars on his face. Now, this is not at all a very bad animated film. It's just kind of disappointment, and it just doesn't do the death of Superman storyline justice. However, if you do actually have a copy of the DVD, there's actually a special feature on it that will actually talk about the actual success and the really the big event, which was the death of Superman storyline in terms of comic books around the country. It's a well done, small, I'd say maybe 30 minute or a little bit more documentary, and it's a well worth watch for any fan of Superman. Yet with that, I'm somewhat reluctant to give Superman Doomsday a C plus. It's not the best Superman animated film, but it's certainly not the worst. It's definitely worth your time for a one-time watch, but don't expect anything spectacular this time around. If you like this movie review, please like, comment down below, and please subscribe to check me in my future movie reviews, video game reviews, and episodes of Superman Month. And like always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.